I haven't done this in a while, so welcome back to Games You Might Be Missing. Uh, this is the show where I look over the games I find on Steam every day to see what's interesting and what, what might not be, and show you some games that you might be interested in but you missed because they're not on the front page. So let's get started. First on the list is Sin Gold. Sin is an old shooter from 1998, which I remember because it was out there because of the sexy models and intensive go and all that. As you can see, classic shooter, but with a, its own taste. I don't really know if it's worth playing right now, but it's definitely a classic. It's one of those things that you should at least know about. I mean, I would rather have Urban Chaos back or a Deus Sex Remaster. So maybe we'll get those one day. That's Sin Gold. Next up is Submarine Titans. It's one of my favorite games ever. It's also from the late 90s, early 2000s. And it's a strategy game, as you can see. Classic. I think it actually came out uh, quite alongside StarCraft. Maybe that's why most people never heard of it. It's constantly underwater. You build bases, you build submarines. There are levels in which your submarines can be. You can steal technology from other uh, factions and use, for, use it for your own. And what I loved about this the most is that whenever you have a technology, you just take it with you to the next level. You don't need to research everything all the time, which makes a whole lot more sense when you think about it. Also, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, for a 90s game, you play submarines. It's awesome. You really, really should play it, if you're a fan of strategy games. Endzone, A World Apart, is a game that was recently released into Early Access. I've seen Co Carnage play it, and they're updating it a lot, all the time, actually. I've been following them. It's a combination colony builder, survival, trying to be something like RimWorld plus Fallout or something like that. And it actually it looks pretty good. I'm actually amazed at the detailed 3D models that they have here, considering that you mostly view this game from uh, from a top-down perspective and usually high up. Uh, it's pretty detailed as far as I could see, and I'm not going to get into early access for this, but it's a game I highly recommend you follow if you're into survival and base building. And lastly, Gears Tactics. If you haven't heard of it yet, well, you're probably not a Gears fan or following Xbox, but as you can see, it's turn-based, kind of XCOM-like, and with the Gears theme, I'm sure a lot of people would uh, would like to buy it. And honestly, it looks kind of good, but I'll wait for actual gameplay or recommendations before I dive into this one. And if you liked what I do here, you can always follow my Facebook page, Saber Gaming, or uh, bit.ly slash srgaming, and you can follow my Twitter at Saber Runner or YouTube, Saber Runner, everything. And thank you for watching. I hope I showed you some things you might like. Bye bye.